530, civil rights icon and Congressman John Lewis spending a second day here in South Florida. Today, he spoke with students in Miami one day after gunfire shattered what was a peaceful celebration of the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez in the control room with that story. Elliot. Well, Rick, Congressman John Lewis took part in a program that's called Conversation with a Legend. He discussed his fight for civil rights with hundreds of young men who have learned about him as part of a history class. Today, they got to meet him in the flesh as he feuds with President-elect Donald Trump. So you, you will be the leaders of the 21st century. Congressman John Lewis addressed 900 students from 38 local schools at Miami Edison Middle School as part of the 5,000 Role Models of Excellence project. The students watched clips from the movie Selma, dramatizing the 1965 march that left Lewis injured and in jail for refusing to end peaceful protests for voting rights in Alabama. We didn't give up. We didn't become merely a hostile. Yes, we were beaten, left bloody, left unconscious. Lewis discussed the civil rights struggle, but not his current feud with President-elect Donald Trump, who is called an illegitimate president because of Russian hacking in the election, adding he will not attend the Trump inauguration. Mr. Trump tweeted, John Lewis said about my inauguration, it will be the first one that I've missed, wrong or lie. He boycotted Bush 43 also because he thought it would be hypocritical to attend Bush's swearing in. He doesn't believe Bush is the true elected president. Sound familiar? Lewis steered clear of criticizing the president-elect today, but he did comment on yesterday's shooting that left eight people injured following the Martin Luther King Day parade in Liberty City. Well, I'm so sorry to hear the violence that took place yesterday, especially on a day that we celebrate and commemorate the life and teaching of Martin Luther King Jr. And we try to speak to the issue of violence today to the young people, saying stay away from violence. Taking questions from the young men in the audience, Lewis said to stay involved in the fight for fairness and equal rights, reminding them that he and Dr. King were also young men during the struggle for civil rights. So as young men, you have an obligation, a mission, and a mandate. You have a legacy to uphold. Well, Lewis acknowledged that he did not attend the inauguration of President George W. Bush back in the year 2000, but he adds that today he and President Bush are good friends. Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News. Elliot, thank you. Look for much more on the transition to Donald Trump's presidency tonight on the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley. That's at 6.30 after the CBS 4 News at 6.